Generally, which one to use depends on what your goals are for reading the organon. So unless you are really trying to do scholarship type work where you are comparing uh, different editions to see Hahnemann's evolution of thought and understand how different uh, translations might you know, show different nuances on Hahnemann's meaning, I don't really recommend reading the first or the fourth editions. I mean, not even really necessarily the fifth, um, meaning like Vessel Heft's true just fifth edition. Um, really, if you're just trying to understand the Organon at all, I would start with the sixth edition. So of the different translations of the 6th edition, Vorky and Dungeon are everywhere and they are free. <laughs> Even if you want to buy a print version, like I like I like to read the print versions as opposed to having to read on my computer, especially for something as dense as the Organon. Um, the print versions of Vorky and Dungeon are really cheap because they're out of copyright. Um, however, it's very, very much difficult English, and I think the meaning can get lost sometimes. The sentences are very long and convoluted, and the English is very outdated, um, so I just, I find it a little bit difficult to understand. Coonsley, Naudet, and Pendleton's, I find much easier to read. It's actually my favorite for the aphorisms, because I find it very clear and straightforward. Um, however, it's sometimes difficult to find, um, and it doesn't include the introduction of the preface. Wenda Brewster O'Reilly and Stephen Deckers um, is the easiest to find because it's the most recently published, and um, it has a lot of great things for somebody who hasn't read the Organon before, so next to a lot of the aphorisms they have a little summary. that is great if the aphorism is like three pages long and you get lost and you're not sure what Hahnemann's trying to say. They have a little summary next to it so that you really understand the point of the whole thing. Um, and then like I said before, Wendell Bruce O'Reilly has put it into a structure so you can see the structure of the organon, which you don't see in any other uh, translation or edition. And they also have a glossary at the back, so a lot of words where um, getting the full German meaning across in English is difficult. They will put the word in the glossary um, and go into the discussion of what the word really means in German. Now I wish they showed you which words were in the glossary. <laughs> like if you're reading along you have no idea whether or not a word is in the glossary and so often I'm like oh I'm not sure what they meant by having that word there and the word is not in the glossary and then other times I will think a word is totally obvious and then I find it in the glossary and then there's actually like a really interesting discussion about it and I was like I wish I would have known to look there but there's no indication you just have to spend some time perusing the glossary however what I will say about the Wendell Brewster O'Reilly and Stephen Decker version is that the language is very metaphysical um, I find it a bit confusing for that reason and it also personally it just rubs me the wrong way um, I mean, we get enough crap about our medicine being energetic and non-material and spiritual medicine and whatever, and this really doesn't help, in my opinion. <laughs> However, um, I can't read the original German, as I've said a million times, and so I have no idea if actually this is exactly what Hahnemann intended, and that was just left out of other translations. I, I'm not one to say. Alright, I hope this was helpful. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any other videos on the Organon. Until next time, bye!